Hi guys, it's Alyssa from songofmyheartstampers.com. I have the funnest new fancy fold, and guess what? It does not even require scoring. Isn't that cool? You don't have to have any fancy tools to make this card at all. And my favorite part about it is that it fits in the regular size medium envelope. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so it looks like a unassuming card, right? Flip it open. Oh, pretty. Flip it open again. Oh, pretty. Flip it open again. Wow. Isn't that fun? So it's a quad fold card because we're going to turn our paper into a quad and then fold it up. So that's my genius name for this. And I um, invented it for my demonstrator meeting, my team meeting that we had on Monday. And I demoed it live for them. So this is a totally brand new fancy fold that you're going to love making. I turned mine into a gift card holder. Um, so that's an even extra fun thing that you can do. Super cool, huh? And fits in a regular envelope. Can't beat that. The products I'm using today are from pages 104 and 105 of the Stampin' Up! catalog. It's the hand pen suite. Beautiful, beautiful papers. Beautiful stamp set. I really recommend it if you're looking for just a really good all-round, year-round um, stamping suite. That would be a wonderful one. Okay. How can we make this with no scores, right? Well, it's so easy. All you have to do is know how to fold something in half. <laughs> I'm not kidding. So I have my double-sided paper. And we're going to decide which side we want to be the front and which side we want to be the inside. I think I'm going to have the pink on the inside. So we're going to fold. Oh, I should tell you the size of the paper, shouldn't I? This paper is from a 12 by 12 sheet. Oh, my air conditioner just kicked on and it's really noisy. So let me go shut my door here. It's been super nice today. And we've had all the windows and doors open for the first time in forever, seriously, because we've had such a humid summer. So the paper, back to the project here, is 8 inches across by 11 inches long. So all you have to do is trim off 1 inch from the bottom of your 12 by 12, and then it leaves you with a really nice 4-inch um, chunk that, if you cut that in half, will give you two card fronts. So it's very um, paper sensitive, like thriftiness sensitive. I am not communicating very well today at all, but you know what I mean. You're not wasting paper with this fancy fold, which I super appreciate. Okay, so we're going to fold it in half from, top, from bottom up to top. So we just match the corners and hold it in place while we run the bone folder over it. Open it back up. And then we're going to fold it in half from side to side. This is so easy. I'm almost embarrassed to show you guys. <laughs> but it was such a cool thing. It uses such um, a convenient measurement of paper. And I just really wanted to show you. Now, I would not do this card with cardstock, even though you could get that out of a sheet of 8.5 by 11 cardstock. It's just too bulky. You know, when you have all those layers all folded together like that, and then folds on the gift card flap as well. It's kind of bulky when it's all folded up and it just works in a regular envelope. So if you made this with cardstock, it would be like at least twice as thick and I think you'd have trouble mailing it. So stick with your pretty paper, which is pretty on both sides anyway, okay? So we have divided it into quarters or quads, one, two, three, four. So that's where we got our name, the quad fold card. And we're gonna come in from the left-hand side and cut on that middle score line just to the center score line that is vertical there. So we're cutting on the horizontal score line just to the vertical score line, separating just two of these quads. Nothing else gets cut, okay? You can already see it start to come together. There's our fold, there's our fold, there's our fold. So fun, isn't that pretty? All right, so this just needs to be where you write, do most of your writing, and that measurement is 3.75, three and three quarters, by five and a quarter long, 5.25 long, okay? If you want to do the gift card fold on this last flap, 
Oh, let me see. You know what? I made this on Monday, and I can't remember what I did. <laughs> okay, here's what I did. I'm going to turn the whole thing sideways so that we can see here. I met the corners in the middle. You could score this, but what is the fun in that? I mean, you didn't have to score the rest of it, so... So I'm meeting the corners in the middle of just this one panel. So we haven't done anything to any of the other panels yet, just this one. And then just because the paper is so pretty, I folded back out to reveal the gift card underneath. So pretty. And then you'll want to put a little bit of adhesive, which I will do if I can find mine. Hmm, somewhere in the rubble here. Um, just to keep those flaps from losing your card. There we go. There we go. Good and sticky. And then your card will fit right in there. It fits at a little bit of an angle. She grabbed one of those to show you. But anyway, you get the idea. And you could touch a, tuck a picture in there or a tag in there if you wanted. That would be fine too. And then that gets folded over. It's very secure that way, but it's also secure because it's getting folded up again, and then the cover is coming now. So that is it, the quad fold card. So fun. People will just love it as it continues to unfold, and they won't believe you got so much fun in an envelope. All right. I hope you had so much fun watching this video, and I hope you go ahead and give the new quad fold a try. I would love it if you would leave a comment telling me you enjoyed this video. That helps me get seen other places, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, everybody.